fourth plea deal has been made in the 2020 Georgia election interference case. Former Trump attorney Jenna Ellis taking that plea deal today, pleading guilty for her role in the case. She now faces five years of probation, 100 hours of community service, and $5,000 in restitution. Yeah, she also has to apologize to the people of Georgia. Love and Lives Grace King joining us live from the courthouse. Grace, some major news today. Number four here. She made quite the statement there this morning. She did. Unlike the others who've accepted plea deals, she chose to read that apology letter aloud to the judge in court this morning. She was tearful as she expressed what she called, quote, deep remorse. As an attorney who is also a Christian, I take my responsibilities as a lawyer very seriously. In court, and Jenna Ellis fought back tears as she pleaded guilty to a felony charge for aiding and abetting false statements and writings. I believe in and I value election integrity. If I knew then what I know now, I would have declined to represent Donald Trump in these post-election challenges. She's the fourth person to plead guilty in the Fulton County indictment. Emory Law School's Kay Levine says that will help prosecutors build their case. I think it's a good deal for the government to get so many different people from so many different pockets of the conspiracy to be willing to testify against the others. Prosecutors say Kenneth Chesbrough helped orchestrate the fake elector scheme. Sidney Powell and Scott Hall were involved with the Coffee County voting machine breach and Jenna Ellis worked on the campaign's legal strategy. She was a very strong proponent in front of news cameras and um, standing shoulder to shoulder with Giuliani and the former president saying, saying all of these things were true. Levine says their individual roles will help prosecutors show a well-rounded case to prove the alleged conspiracy. Uh, but each one of them presumably has information that makes him or her extremely valuable to the prosecutor's office, more valuable as a witness than as a defendant in their own right. Now four people have pleaded guilty, which means there are 15 co-defendants remaining. The attorneys I spoke with said they wouldn't be surprised if more of them accepted plea deals in the coming weeks. Live at the Fulton County Courthouse, Grace King, 11 Alive News.